Okej, okay, guys, let's take a look at 2 and 3 by Slayer, and this is in E flat standard tuning. Right? One half step down on all strings. And we're gonna start with the clean guitar parts, obviously, and uh, you're gonna put your pinky on the uh, 5th fret on D and index finger on 3rd fret on G. And you're gonna play this arpeggiated thing here. Then you're gonna repeat it, and note that we have five beats of uh, yeah. Don't play anything before you repeat one more time, okay? So uh, all together. enter the fourth bar okay so and uh, the way I play this in the beginning is obviously the same as before the first two bars and uh, well it's not the same but yeah, I mean the same uh, left hand fingering pattern here okay and uh, once I get here and uh, I'm gonna play uh, uh, third fret on D uh, I do it by going with my middle finger one fret down, okay? And then I fret my third fret on G with my uh, ring finger instead. So there's a little switch from here, okay, to here. Alright? So. Like this. So. and four in the second line. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So just make sure you're not muting the open B string with your fingers, okay? And um, yeah, and right after that, the distorted guitar will kick in and then, you know, gonna play the hip power chord. And I'm not gonna play the distorted parts, but uh, just basically hip power chord. And then four times palm muted on E and then down to F sharp. Second fret, okay. And you're gonna play this four times, and at the same time the clean guitar will continue to play uh, the final two bars in the second line repeated four times. Okay, so that thing repeated four times. And then finally, in the third line, uh, the distorted guitar will play those chords that I have written out uh, above the tab. So that's E flat, sixth so fret on A, bow chord, and then D5, fifth fret on A, bow chord, and then B5, second fret on A, and then B flat, bow chord, first fret on A. Right? And it's gonna be like this. One more time. Finally, it will end on E, and at the same time, the clean guitar plays the third line. Okay, so Sorry. there. So that's the intro. Okay, now here in this part, uh, one of the guitars will play the power chords that I have written out above the tab. So E5 to F to E G F and uh, you play them here as well, okay? So E F Maybe that's the more pr proper way, by the way. Play them here. <laughs> Sorry. And uh, yeah, in just a good line, we're gonna have a diff different power chords. So E, B flat, E, then G, F. Okay. And and yeah, you're gonna play each line twice. And uh, well, you can either play those power chords. We can play 
the thing that is uh, kind of looks a bit scary, but especially a repeated legato lick that you're gonna repeat over and over. So you're gonna start on fifth fret on D, and you're gonna go just legato from like this. Okay, so. That's pretty much it, it's not too complicated. Uh, just you know, play those notes legato and try to make each um, group of notes uh, within two beats, okay? So that's like that's the group of notes that you're gonna fit within two beats. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this part. Let's go to the next part. And here we're gonna come to the part right before the verse, so you go like this. And you're gonna play it one more time. So, the first time you play it, it may feel a bit weird. You know, the strange rhythmic uh, feeling is here. <laughs> Uh, but one thing to remember here is that um, you have this uh, kind of interchange going on between A and B string. So, uh, so basically you're going to hold this shape, F power chord shape, sorry, F sharp power chord shape here, and you're going to play uh, the bass notes on E string, of course, on the second fret. And then you're gonna play four fret on A, and then going back to second fret on E, or you're gonna play third fret on A and then go back to E. But you might notice that each time you play third fret, sorry, fourth fret on A, you're gonna play the second fret on E only once, okay? And every time you play the third fret on A, you're gonna follow it with two strikes on on the second fret on E, as you can see, so... So, yeah, as you can see, uh, each time you play the f uh, fourth fret, you play the E string once, after that, and uh, every time you play the third fret on A, you're gonna play uh, the second fret on E twice. So, uh, yeah, and that's pretty much it for this part, and here we're going to have the verse riff. And you're going to play it uh, four times, alright? And this wasn't too complicated, I, I will not explain that much here. Let's continue on to the chorus, and uh, the chorus goes like this. Yeah, that will be it. Not so complicated, hopefully. Uh, I screwed up one. Yeah. I went to the wrong fret once, but yeah, you, you have the tab in front of you, so just use them. <laughs> okay, let's continue on to the next part. And uh, here we're actually gonna we're gonna have the second chorus eventually here, but before the second chorus, we're gonna play one more verse riff, uh, exactly the same as we had on slide four. And then you're gonna have this second chorus, and the first part here is the same as in the previous uh, chorus. Uh, then the second line is a slightly different ending. So uh, you know the final two bars in the second line, and they go like this instead of uh, uh, instead of uh, yeah what what we had on the previous slide, and. Uh, yeah, that would be pretty much it for the choruses. Let's continue on. And here we're gonna come to this uh, very kind of sorrowful part, or gloomy part, I don't know, <laughs> but it goes like this. And then you're gonna play it one more time, right? Eh? 
Okay. And that would be the bridge. So yeah, just be sure to make uh, the notes ring out in the first uh, three bars there, okay? Alright. Uh, don't mute them. Uh, Alright, let's continue. And uh, here we're gonna have the, uh, the guitar solo coming in and uh, the backing riff is quite simple, so let's play the first time. Okay, and you're gonna play this line twice, and then the second line is pretty much the same, but you're gonna play it uh, two frets higher up, so. Repeat it one more time, uh, but you're gonna end it on uh, the final bar instead of uh, the fourth bar. Okay, so that would be the second ending. All right, and uh, yeah, then we're gonna play another round of the bridge, and like the first uh, part here is pretty much the same as before. Uh, Except for the final bar I believe here. And that part, uh, the final bar in the second line is uh, that's the different part. And uh, so I'm not gonna play the whole thing here again, but let's see how the bridge looks like on the next slide. Because it's slightly different than uh, before. And uh, yeah, so basically, uh, kind of more busy part where you have palm muted lines and more or less throughout the remaining throughout the remainder of this uh, part so okay it goes like this and finally yeah finally we're gonna have this uh, ending part and it goes like this play this thing one more time but you're gonna replace the ending bar with the final bar in the second line which goes like this right and that will be it that's 213 and uh, I'm sorry for my slight convoluted explanation sometimes but well, this is how I how I am, I guess. So you have to deal with that. So <laughs> okay, thanks for watching and uh, good luck with that.